Moxie Media Incorporated presents Safe Manual Winch Practices and Procedures. Manual winches are frequently found on the barges and towboats of the inland and coastal waterways to aid in making wire and synthetic rope couplings. These couplings can hold a single barge to a boat or couple a tow of up to 30 barges together. Hand winches used for barge wire rope couplings typically have ratings of 20 to 60 tons. This rating is the holding capacity of the winch. The actual line pole that a crewman can place on a wire or cable may reach nearly half the rated capacity of the manual winch. The ability and training of the crewman to operate the winch as designed will affect the amount of tension he or she can manually apply with a winch. The following safe work practices are critical to avoid injuries during winch operations. For a winch to safely apply the needed tension to wire or synthetic rope, it must be used correctly. Wire rope and lines must be monitored so that the correct amount of tension is being applied. Too little or too much tension can result in a coupling wire breaking. When tension is applied or removed from the cable and rope, the potential for injury increases if shortcuts are taken. Individual crew members cannot typically apply enough force with a winch to go beyond the winch or wire rope ratings. However, a slack wire rope can break when jerked or shock loaded. The tension on a wire rope can become very dangerous when the winch is not adjusted for gradual barge draft changes. Now let's go through some basic operating procedures for several models of manual winches found throughout the inland and coastal marine industries. The winches being reviewed in this program are all manual and hand operated. The wire or synthetic rope on these models is tightened in the same manner. The key differences in the operation of these winches involves the tension release mechanism. Following the specific correct operating procedures for each particular make and model of winch is critical for personnel safety. For each winch model in this training program, the tension release procedure requires that a load holding dog be removed from the winch gear teeth. This is a critical step for safe manual winch operation. Let's take a closer look at the following manual winch operations. We are demonstrating three sample models found throughout the inland and coastal waterways to provide common examples of safe tightening and release practices. Always follow the specific winch manufacturer's operating procedures for those manual winches located aboard your boat or barge. General winch operating guidelines must be remembered and followed for safe manual winch operation. Let's review these guidelines. Do not use the winch wheel spokes to step on while tightening or loosening manual winches. Do not use the winch tightening ratchet to back tension off the winch when it's equipped with a handbrake. Never reach through winch wheel spokes. Standing in the bite of the wire or synthetic rope must always be avoided. Never leave the ratchet and extension handle or cheater pipe engaged in the winch gear. It can rotate forcefully when the winch tension is released. These manual winch operating procedures are presented for the safety of maritime personnel. It is your responsibility to be aware of the correct winch operating procedures before working with these devices. Just like any tool, if used correctly, a manual winch can provide safe and effective boat and barge couplings. Personnel safety must be considered before and during each job. Training, teamwork, and equipment all play important roles in safe manual winch operations.